Hey, what's up everybody? It's yours truly, the Trigger Tree here from the good old Kill Instinct Squad. Today we're playing Alien Storm. It's an old retro game made by Sega. For walkthrough purposes, I have put on easy mode, so sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. Select your player. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the guy. Mission one, save the people. Take that. Mission 2, expel the aliens. Oh no. Fuck out of here. Oh, 3 on 1. I played this game a lot offline, I just never beat it. Even as a kid. Y'all know how these uh, beat em up style games are. Plus, it's retro. Older games are harder than the new ones they have. Mission 3, Aliens Nest. Oh no. 
Damn. That's how you feel, homeboy? Shit. for a duel in broad daylight. Take that. Guys came out the old man hole. <coughs> I'm feeling like trash cans are alien. I know it. Back up. Uh oh. Continue loss of life. I usually lose at least one life around level three and four. There's eight levels of the game. Mission 5, save the laboratory. on this level too. Cause they get harder and harder as you go.
die at right here. Originally, you start out with three lives. But I kind of put in the code where you get nine. That's why I think all games should give you retro nine, not like that two or three. That's just my opinion. Because a lot of these games take forever to beat on just two lives. You gotta start all over. Double team me. Okay, I lost a life. I usually fail the game on level six, level seven. See, with nine lives, this is gonna help me out. I can maybe have a chance to beat it. I'm not no gaming prodigy. Well, I play games to have fun. I'm, it's not no competition. This motherfucker the body slammed me. That's how you feel? Big blob motherfucker. Fuck out of here. It's usually this boss on this level that takes my life. life. I don't see the way of avoiding him. And then there's a second form for this one. This is the motherfucker right here that always got me. I think the highest I got to was level 7. I died during that boss fight. I think I did pretty good for 3 lives. Mothership. That's six lives left. Yeah, this is the highest I ever made it. I never made it to eight.
It's this point. It's up this. Usually, this point right here is the farthest I've ever made it on three lives. I'm out of energy. Energy now. I forgot energy ain't just your special. It's also your weapon. choice. I was not fighting all them motherfuckers by myself. Okay, I've never made it this far, so I'm probably going to lose a life here. I just got swallowed, and not in a good way. Mission 8, final battle. this game. Let me take a little quick break. Yeah, I mean, I like these retro games. <coughs> Gives me a chance to play my era all over again. And look, I got the Sega Genesis controller for the Switch. That's what I'm playing on. I got four lives left.
the alien nesting grounds. This is the first time I lost multiple two lives on one level. This bitch just kangaroo kicked my ass.
focus more fire on you. Shit, I can. Take that. I was gonna say we blew up a ship while we were on it. Oh yeah, that completes the game. The ambition of the aliens to invade upon the Earth has been foiled. Peace is restored. But what has become of the tremendous three? Did they survive? Nobody knows and there is no way to find out. But if any aggression is made to our planet again, they are the ones who will fight back. Until then, their name shall be engraved in our minds. Alien Busters. Well, let's sit back and watch the credits. Get the drink going. Special thanks to Team Shinobi. Oh yeah, definitely gonna play some more retro. The end. Yeah, I know I put it on easy. Rank Surf. Alrighty, this is the Trigger Tree here from the good old Kill Instinct Squad. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Everybody on YouTube, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, you know, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll be seeing you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures. Peace.